Welcome everyone to Doga Yoga. Today we're doing a beautiful balance and breathe class. So come join us on the mat. Yes, you're going to come join us on the mat to move, breathe and be. So come into seated, sink or down, no kisses, into a seated position. And we're going to start today's class placing one hand on one knee, one hand on the other. Uh -uh. And starting to close down the eyes and just bring awareness to the breath. Or you can have a puppy sitting in your lap if you're me. Inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and just arrive, ground down, feel all these stuff holding you back, go. And inhale, feel yourself awaken, bring in that beautiful new energy. Soften. And on our next inhale, one big arm circle up, overhead fingertips touch. And back to heart center. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. When we're ready, take our hands up overhead and just reach towards the sky. Reach and grow tall as much as we can. Send the right hand forward, or left hand forward, I should say, right hand back. Inhale, come on up and swap. Inhale and exhale. Flow side to side here, just waking up, getting a bit of twist in the body. When we're ready, we're going to reach to the sky, place our, I'll mirror you, right hand on our left knee, left hand behind us, find length and revolve. So just sink into the sensation here, take our time, flow with the breath. When we're ready, send this left hand high to the sky and place it on the right knee. Round out our chest, bring our forehead to our forearms and just rock here. When we're ready, unravel, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips high to the sky. Left hand on the right knee, right hand behind us, length and revolve. Breathe in here. When you're ready, come back to center. Take a big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, and then come on over into your tabletop position. So knees under our shoulders, or knees under our hips, wrists under our shoulders, puppy dog underneath us, yes. And take our cat cow, drop our belly, open up our chest into cow. And exhale to cat, no kisses. Inhale. And exhale. Two more at our own pace. Really take our time. Drop the belly, open up the chest into cow. And exhale to cow. Come back to neutral, find the length in our spine. Send our right leg back and our left hand forward. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, take our left elbow out to the side, right knee out to the side, flex that foot, five, four, three, two, one, drop it down, left leg back, right hand forward for five, four, three, two, one, left elbow or right elbow out, left knee out, hold for five, Four, three, two, one. Place it down, take a little cat cow. Move and breathe. It's bringing a little bit of balance, a little bit of play, a little a bit of energy into the body. When we're ready, tuck our toes, press into our hands, send our hips high. 
So really reach the tailbone to the sky, come up onto the tippy toes, bend the knees, see if you can get the tailbone a little bit higher. And exhale, see if you can sink the hips down, or heels down straight in the legs. Breathe here for two breaths, length and soften. Length and soften. When we're ready, bend our knees, look towards our hands, pull back and come into a forward fold however you can. Lots and lots of little steps, one big step, a jump, come on in. Relax the neck down, release the tension, grab the elbows, rock side to side. And we're ready, bend the knees, roll on up and really, really slowly, vertebra by vertebra, up to standing. And we all get there. Take a nice, slow, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch and step to the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When we're ready, one more big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, hands wide, place them on the hips. We're going to pick up our right knee and balance. We'll come onto those right toes for five, four, three, two, one, and then step this right foot back, coming into warrior two. So get your balance, find your strength, find your core. Before we flip the palm, come into reverse warrior. Inhale, find length and sink the hips a little deeper. Find the length in the torso, this front body, creating space and soften. When already we're going to straighten this front leg, squeeze the kneecap. And come on over, reaching this left hand forward. So reach, reach, reach. Then place it down on the shin, on the ground, on a block. Reach the right hand to the sky and revolve. Gaze goes high, navel is revolving towards the ceiling. Lean back a little. Find that straightness between the shoulder and the hip. And we breathe. When we're ready, we're going to bend this front knee. I'm going to bring this top hand to our hip and we're going to scoot this left hand forward. So we're going to come into our half moon here, a bit of balance for our balance and flow class. So plant this hand down, bounce off these back toes and come on up, lift that back leg up. So the hips are stacked on top of one, one another, going from the floor to the ceiling. Gaze can be down to the side of the room or we can send that hand high gaze towards the top fingertips. Half moon. If you want to go on, you can kick that heel towards the buttock, grab it with that foot, Ooh, balance, talking too much, not balancing enough, play. And when we're ready, we're all going to come into our half split, so we're going to release that foot if we do, place this top hand to the ground, and then bring the hips so they're parallel to the ground, so the hips aren't stacked and the toes are flexed, the toes are pointing towards the face. We're bringing our knee towards our nose, so our neck is still nice and long and breathing here. Really activating that left glute. We'll already place this top foot down, bend the knees, come into that forward fold, really release. When we're ready, we're going to roll one up super, super slowly. Really take our time, vertebra by vertebra. What have you got? Have you got the treat bag? Come on up. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And back to heart center for two breaths. And already another big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. Hands wide, place them on the hips. Place the weight to the right foot so we can just lift the toes, we can lift this knee up, really play here. And when we're ready, I'm gonna step on back into our warrior two, so sink on down, find your place. Let, relax the shoulder blades down the back, gaze over those front fingertips, just really feel into it. I wish you guys could see Merlin off camera just running around with the treat bag around the back deck. We're going to, when we're ready, we're going to flip that front palm, come into our reverse warrior. So just soften through the jaw, soften through the face. The eyebrows, the eye sockets, the forehead. And just find the length in that torso, find the length in that front side body. 
when we're ready we're going to lengthen that front leg squeeze that kneecap and come on over into our trikonasana find your version that feels good for you it's a beautiful side body stretch here we might have this knee slightly bent we might have our hand on our hip or we might have our gaze towards those top fingertips find what works always looking upwards always reaching higher And we're already going to bend this front knee, hand in front of us. So reach that right hand forward, place this top hand on the hip. We're going to bounce off this back toes and come up into our half moon. So we can really have our gaze towards the ground, gaze towards the side or gaze towards those top fingertips. Find your version. Keep that heel towards the buttock. Grab it with the back fingers if you can. And when we're ready, we're going to release, top hand down, come on into our half split. So the hips are parallel to the ground now, toes are flexed towards the face, knee to nose, just really relax the head down. When we're ready, we're going to place this top foot down, really bend the knees, come into a really juicy forward fold, really release, belly on the thighs, any tension just lets go out of the neck. And when we're ready, roll on up, vertebra by vertebra. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch and back to heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When we're ready, one more big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands wide, place them on the hip. Lift the right knee high and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Step this right foot behind us, come to the long edge of the mat. Heels out, toes in, find length, hands are still on the hip. So they're going to really grow tall here, activate the kneecaps, find that activation in the body. And we're going to hinge from the hips, come into a wide legged fold forward. So crown of the head comes towards the ground. Hands can release from the hips, come underneath the shoulders. As we start to send the tailbone towards the sky and release. You might like to rock side to side here gently. Find your way into this posture. When we're ready, we're going to gently lengthen the spine as much as we can. Walk our hands around towards the front of the mat. And we're going to come into a lunge. So we turn the left toes to face the front of the room. Come onto those back toes. And we're into a lunge here, pushing that back heel away. We can be on that back knee. Wherever we are, we're going to sweep our hands high. We can place them on that knee to come up. Or we can sweep them up in one go into a crescent lunge. So find length and sink a little deeper here. Length and sink. Just really focus, breathe, find that little bit of heat, that little bit of energy in the body. And when we're ready, we're going to sweep our hands back at crown of the head forward, shooting into an arrow. Breathing here, holding. And when we're ready, in our next inhale, we're going to sweep our hands forward and up, and we're going to bring this back foot up, coming into a standing. So step on up. All in one go, reach towards the ceiling, little back bend and hands back to heart center. Two breaths. Length. And soften. Length. And soften. When we're ready, big arm circle, up overhead, fingertips touch. Exhale, hands wide, place them on the hips. Lift the left toes, the left knee high for five, four, three, two. One, and we're going to step it back, wide-legged fold, toes in, heels out, find length, really activate here. And send the tailbone to the sky, crown of the head towards the earth. Hands can come underneath the shoulders as we breathe. So relax the neck, relax the shoulders, feel everything just go wish away. And then rock side to side here. Really allow yourself to let go. And 
And when they're ready, we're gently going to find length, walk around to the front of the mat. Come into our lunge once more. So back knee can come down. We can place the hands on the knees and rise ourselves up. Or we can swoosh up all in one go, wherever we are, we're going to hold. When you're ready, sweep the hands down and back, crown of the head forward, hold into arrow. Breathe, really find length, back heel to the crown of the head here, grow long, shoot forward. Now next, inhale, sweep the hands up, step on up. Big back bend, so nice, and hands back to heart center. Take a two breaths here and just really release. When you're ready, take a big arm circle up, overhead fingertips touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up into halfway lift your version and fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. We're going to come back into tabletop position where we were at the start. So just take cat cow, really just release. Notice the difference since the start of class. You might actually wriggle side to side, roll the rib cage in circles. When we're ready, we're going to tuck our toes under and sit back onto our heels. Place our hands on our thighs. Breathing here, finding a little bit of softness. If this is too much, sit on a block or place the hands in front. And when you're ready, slide your hands forward, place them on the ground. We're going to cross our ankles. Roll on over onto our backs. Bring one knee in and then the other. Give ourselves a hug. Rock side to side. Take figure eights. And just squeeze in the left leg long and the right knee into our chest. Just give yourself a really nice squeeze here. And then send the right leg long, bring the left knee in. Give yourself a squeeze on the other side. When you're ready, take your time, send both legs long. And just whew, flop into the earth. To finish off, you might just give yourself a nice little head massage here, flowing with your breath, rocking the head one way. And then the other. I really love this. You notice all these little sensations in the back of the skull that you just didn't know before. Going one way and the other. And come to your stillness. Take your time. And when you're ready, send your arms up overhead, reach. The fingers reach, the toes wriggle. And roll on over to a side that suits you using your arm as the pillow. We'll come up into seated in our own time. Taking a big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch and back to heart center. Take some time to say thanks for stepping on the mat today. Sending lots of love and gratitude, beautiful yogis. Namaste.